Welcome to the War here, and today we've got a doozy of a disaster battle playing as the war host of Tsar. He's got a convoy, which of course has mixed matched units, and uh, going up against Grimgore's hard boys. And they are, uh, they're, they've got no chill. They're sending nearly three full stacks against him here. Also, guys, I need to let you know that this video here is sponsored by Asus ROG and NVIDIA. If you guys haven't already picked up an Asus ROG GPU to overpower your gaming experience, this is just a reminder to check out the link in the description to get yourself one of the best GPUs on the market. Experience ray tracing and DLSS3 on the latest GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. The only advantage that we've got is that it is actually a choke point battle. And what a choke point it is. So this is a really interesting map, but the problem here is that, like, the map is great, but is it enough to, like, overcome the immense amount of forces coming at us? If this wasn't a choke point battle, I'd say this battle is absolutely impossible. If we have a look here, the balance, uh, the um, AI difficulties on maximum. Uh, let's jump in here and see what we can do, because, yeah, there's a limited amount of things that we can do to, like, really get rid of a heap load of their forces. We have to rely super heavily on Chaos Dwarf blunderbusses, because... They've got 33 shots, and we've just got to make the most out of it. Let's jump in and see what we can do. Because we're not going to be able to get any healing. Got a fair few abilities. I mean, this Bull Centaur Torok is essentially a level 1 hero, so we're not going to get a whole lot of value out of that. Kind of sucks how they can put a hero in these armies, these convoys, and you can't level them up. Obviously, you can level up the main lord. Uh, mammoths could be quite good as long as they don't get shot down. But yeah, using this position here, it's the only viable place to stand. If we were to stand over here, there's no way we could win. Absolutely, utterly hopeless. But yeah, he's lucky that this map is here, for sure. Because if it wasn't for it, I would have just said, no, nah, there's no way this is winnable. But we'll see what we can do. Okay, probably want to get these guys as far back as possible. But really make sure that their line of sight isn't blocked because there's a fair few bumps here. Use this guy here to you know, try to block them if possible. Another thing as well, if you put your units just right in front of them like this, they're going to have a hard time shooting. So we've got to make sure that you know, they've got a nice clean shot. That's really bloody important. Thing is as well, the enemy are going to like come around through this way here to come down here. It'd be really good if we can kill the enemy lord so that we can get them off the battlefield, so that we don't have to kill off the entire army, because there's a, a lot of trash in there, for sure. And if we have a look at our Lord here, he's got a few abilities we can use. This is absolute trash, but this one's good. There's a, uh, what's it called, a um, Doom Diver Catapult there. Okay, it may be in our best interest to just wait for them to get their reinforcements to come in. Don't have any Winds of Magic. I mean, we got Winds of Magic, we just don't have any spellcasters. Uh, let's have a look, what does this do again? Okay. That could that could be helpful, for sure. Just gotta try to keep them alive. Imagine if we managed to win this and actually not lose some of the, what really, any units. Can't withdraw any units from the battlefield. It's one of the annoying things about convoy battles, it's like, Especially when you're playing on higher difficulties, because the later on you go in the campaign, as soon as you spawn your your um your convoy, Grimgore is just all over that. So you really need to clear out Grimgore before you you reach the late campaigns as any of the Chaos Dwarf factions. If you just leave him there, he's like right next to Zarnagrin and just go straight for him. It's not worth it, unless you send both like more than one convoy. To what happened over here? Why did this one take damage? They must have done something, but... I didn't do anything. Who did damage? How'd they do that? <laughs> Who did that? Hmm. I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. Alright, so we got some army abilities. The Doom of Hush Shoot would be good if we can get them blobbed up somewhere. Hang on. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Uh, the Blood and Fireborn could be good to take out the Doom Diver Catapult. Alright, the Bounce Power is actually not that horrendous. So that's good. 
you know, for, for this current situation. It's probably going to take them quite a while to get over here, just because the pathfinding, they're not designed for this at all. Really wonky map. This is probably the best choke point battle you could ever ask for. Alright, we're getting shot at that. But, there's now enough of distance that we can pop this down. You don't want to put it in too close to these guys. Oh God, he's already done so much damage to them. Yeah, you don't want to put it in too close, or else they'll just come in here and take it out before we've taken out the, uh, the Doom God uh, the Catapult. It's got to give these guys time to sort it out. Right, then, while they're shooting at the Fireborn, if I could manage to get this ability in on them there... Because I reckon their archers are probably the biggest concern. Their melee troops shouldn't be that big of a deal. Problem here is that they might dodge this. They might try to dodge it. Yeah, they're trying to dodge it a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit of damage. Nothing spectacular. Alright, that Doom Diver catapult's gone. These guys don't last that long, but that's good just for dealing with that. Alright, so Doom of Hashur. Obviously, if, it, if we could hit there, that'd be great. But the problem is, they'll dodge it. They dodge any kind of bombardment or explosion. Gotta be real careful with what we're doing with that. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. But that would have been a real pain in the ass, that one. Now, another thing is that we need to find some way to kill this guy here. He's the commander of the battle. Got a potion of healing. Killing him and dropping their leadership down by 10 would be really good. Especially like these goblins. Oh my god. 86 leadership? Well, I guess it's all the other modifiers. Lord nearby. If we could get rid of that, that would drop it down. Flank secure and then other 15. Probably some sort of campaign effect. God damn. Uh, this one here, they don't really dodge that. So, pop that down. Thing is, I can't really land him here and harass their back because he's a little bit on the squishy side. The other guys, they'll just shoot at him. It's too many for me. I need more of a flying goon squad. So that cannon wasn't too bad. What are they doing? Are they are they going back across? What's going on here? No, no, they see us. They're just having a hard time pathfinding towards us. Okay, we really want to try to keep their missile units back this way so they're not interrupting us. That's a decent number of them there. Okay, I'm happy to pop that down as long as it actually keeps them there. Alright, I think that was much better than the first one, so that's good. Careful of their missile units. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I don't think we're going to get a bigger blob than that. So I'm going to take it. Especially because there's Black Orcs in there. That'd be really good to take them out. They're not really dodging it just yet. Awesome. And... Very nice. That was a shitload of damage. Really good. Man, you can really see the difference in the bounce power there. Okay, good start. Really good start to the battle. Don't worry about this ability. It's freaking rubbish. Uh, these here. These here. I mean, their biggest concentration is here. So let's keep smashing them there. The archers are the biggest concern. But... We're kind of wasting their ammo, and also keeping them back this way. That's actually quite good. They are doing some damage to us. Definitely would like a um, potion of healing, but we've used up most of our army abilities. This one over here, it's good, but it's, it's not as good as the other ones. Get a bit more value out of that. Oh, maybe that one can be a bit iffy sometimes. Yeah, just turn their entire army into melee infantry. So taking a little bit of damage here and there, but they are losing way more balance of power than we are with this. I mean, none of our units are hidden, but the AI just has such a hard time pathfinding in these choke point battles if you're not exactly where they expect you're going to be. Thing is, me doing this isn't going to. Oh, uh, okay, it's a dude there, but it's not. It's like a war hero or something. Uh, they'll still do this even if we didn't do this, but this is this is providing a lot of value because we're going to have a hard time getting them because we don't have long range units. We've got short range archers. High damage, but if these guys here would just use up their ammo on the Chosen, it's not like the Chosen will take no damage, so wasting their ammo is definitely providing a lot of value. If we use that breath attack, we'll just end up getting shot. 
And if we have a look at how much damage they're doing here, it's probably next to nothing. Yeah, so that's fine. Definitely don't like having to do this, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. They're still just getting set up. I'd love to do some sort of bombardment there. Wish I had another one of these. Okay, hang on, something's going on. Uh, oh, right, I think it was a bit of friendly fire. Okay, yeah, well, it's not good. Good that this one here is used up all of its ammo. Good. Things I gotta pay attention to more than one thing now. Pay attention to here, make sure that we're dodging these shots because I don't want those archers coming over here. Could land on the stragglers as they're coming in. Oh, Black Orcs, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, but I could use the breath attack on it because there's nothing else in the area. Yeah, that's fine. Reforming again, that's fine, I guess. A little bit of ammo used up. Not really a good battle for being conservative, I think, with the ammo. Uh, yeah, I still really want to make sure every last bit of their ammo here is spent. But when they blobbed up like that, they just weren't shooting. Are they going to reform up? That's fine. Oh, Legend, you can only win this battle because of bad AI. Yeah, pretty much. There's no way that this would be a winnable in a field battle. No way. Zero percent chance. Not on this difficulty, anyway. Maybe if you played on easy battle difficulty, because there's such a big difference in leadership, you could actually rely on routing the enemy forces. But you can't do that so easily on very hard battle difficulty, because you just don't have enough tools at your disposal to cause morale penalties. Kill the enemy general, it's worth, like, 15% of their morale. It's just not enough. Okay. No one's shooting us at the moment, so now is a good time to use fire breath. Yeah, hitting some black orcs sounds good. And you'll see just how useless this ability is. Oh, look at the damage there. Yeah, nothing. Total garbage. All right, they're coming back over here. Yep, keep wasting their ammo. Bouncer power is pretty much even. But, you know, still a lot of enemy forces to come in. Another thing as well, but that by doing this... Even though they're not taking casualties, they're dropping down in balance of power, which is going to make it easier for us to inflict the army losses. Oh, what's going on there? Yep, it's fine. I mean, they see us. They did send forces over there before, <laughs> so I don't know. We're not hiding. They can see us, plain and clear. They just have no pathfinding capabilities in this situation. So that there, an orc biggin. All right, I might as well use his, his abilities up. It just it just does no friggin' damage. That's all. <laughs> it's, it's just like, why would you even have this as an item? It's such rubbish. It's always been rubbish, and I can't believe they've just never adjusted this. Hey, if I could land on him, oh, no, he'd actually end up beating us. I think. Uh, I wonder if it's any good against single entities. Maybe that's the problem. Problem is, we don't kill any of their entities whenever we shoot at them anyway. It only does about 100 damage. I do actually want them to come over here. I'm not trying to delay them. We need to take that position for sure. But I'm not trying to delay them. Trying to waste their ammo here, absolutely. But I'm not trying to delay him. Especially this guy here. I really want him to get over there. The sooner we kill him, the better. But yeah, that bounce power is looking alright. But yeah. They're so bad in these choke point battles. There's some choke points that are worse than others. And this is, this is probably the worst. Just because the AI just expects the player to be protecting the actual choke point and so when you don't do it the ai just it's like oh what i don't know i just don't know how to pathfind over there but the thing is if they've designed the ai in such a one-dimensional way why do they even put these sections in on the map that the player can use to to do this it's like creative assembly kind of expects 
goodwill from the player to not fuck the AI. When the AI sends three full stacks against one, like, the AI doesn't behave in a goodwill sort of way. Why should the player? It's just like, like why would you bother? It's fine if you want to do that, but it doesn't make any sense. You know, if the AI would only ever send enough forces for it, so it would be maybe just a little bit skewed in their favor, not massively skewed, then yeah, you could make an argument for not doing this kind of stuff, but that's not what they do. They're like, well, I can afford five times as many armies as the a as the player. Oh look, they have a strag struggling army over there. I'm going to send four of them, or three of them in this case, over there to destroy it. Haha, ha, suck shit, player. And then the player actually wins. Oh no, P please, don't, why you hurt poor AI? What did I ever do to you? It would be good to get them to shoot their own troops as well. Maybe they'll actually advance on us this time. Like I said, it's what I want them to do. It's just trying to get some value while they're trying to get over here anyway. Because I don't think landing this guy and going into melee is going to provide a lot of value. His just combat stats aren't that good. And turning these guys into really shit melee infantry, that's a lot of value. Okay, here we go. They're coming this time. All right. I definitely want to still keep dodging, but... Hang on, here we go, here we go. All right, I need this guy here to just hold them back. Because if we send a proper unit over there, they take up too much surface area, and these guys here end up doing too much friendly fire. They'll still do friendly fire, but just not as much. You want the smallest character you can possibly find in order to act as like your meat shield to hold them back. I just don't want the archers coming over here. This is good so far. Really good. They're moseying on over here real slow. Big old fucking blob. Very nice. Getting a lot of value out of these blunderbusses. It's not always the best thing to run straight into them. Sometimes it's good to run around them a little bit. See if they'll actually chase us a bit. Just a, just a little bit. Even better still turn around. Shoot at him. 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 Quick. Shoot at him. I mean, it's good that they're turning around, but shoot him. Crap. I need to get in there. Uh, no, wait. No, no, no. Um, actually, yeah, you, could, you should be able to fight him. And also, we've got anti-large on this one. They're not going to shoot him because he's too small. Get back over there. The fact that they're turning back around is really good. Yeah, this is why I didn't want the archers coming in over here. They're quite a big problem. Killing him is going to be so good for us. Hang on, careful. Watch where we're shooting. We've lost two blunderbusses. Let's try to move them out of the way. Okay, don't let him run away. Good that he's shattered, but we need to actually kill him. Just let the bull centaur render, render handle that. Did you do any damage? Yep, you did. Pretty good. How'd you go with that? Really well. Nice. Good. Him being killed, that's dropped them down. Minus 16, but it's going to go down to minus 10. Realistically, it's a minus 10 penal penalty for this. Uh, could have used this, but no, we were, we were fine. That guy just made a real dumb move with that. All right, get these guys back into position. So yeah, we put the archers behind the blunderbusses, obviously, because they can shoot over their heads where these ones here, not so well. These guys here, they can shoot over their heads a bit, so they're... I can get them over this way. Alright, I still want them to come back. I wasn't trying to get them to go away, but it was it was pretty... Oh, hang on. No, they're going to keep shooting us with this. Um, it, it was pretty good what happened there, for sure. With them backing off, it gave us time to sort out the enemy general. Got a decent amount of value out of that. But they're going to keep casting. I really need to kill that enemy general. Alright, bounce power's looking alright, considering... Should have checked to see how much winds of magic they've got. Usually don't bother checking. Um, but yeah, that guy could end up doing a lot of damage. If they've got even 50 winds of magic, that's still a lot of those casts. There's not much I can do to block it. Except for maybe getting shot at, but then going into the trees. That could work. Maybe they're checking for hidden units, but um, none of my units are hidden. They see us all, so I'm not sure what they're doing there. Alright, there's a bunch of guys coming in. I could use my last stupid breath attack. 
garbage. Doesn't really matter what you cast it on. It's not going to do any damage to anything. Yeah, it's fucking trash. A little bit tempting, actually, to bring my mammoths over here to get these isolated ones, but I'll probably end up getting them killed. We're in a really good defensive position here. Maybe, maybe the problem here is actually my overseer. Maybe I should bring it back over this way. Yeah, bring it back over this way. Let's have we loosen some frames. That might be because of pathfinding issues. If I bring it over this way, have all of my balance of power right here, maybe then there they'll be fine. No. I don't have any more explosions to use. Don't have a hell cannon, so I don't want them to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll pause the recording until they actually decide to attack. Just, just wait for them. I guess you'll see how much of a time difference it's going to be. Okay, looks like they might be making the attack. Maybe. Oh, as soon as I press unpause, they turn back around. Maybe I can't stay here. As good as this defensive position is, if they won't actually come here, oh, I'm going to have to lure them here, I think. Yeah. They might just be constantly reforming. I'm really not sure. I can't have them do this. I need them to come at me. It's like, yeah, it's good like, good to win the battle, I mean, uh, that the AI is so bad, but I can't win the battle if they don't fucking get over here and die, bitch. Come over. At least send someone over here. Oh, watch out for that damn guy there. Uh, that being said, they're not really focusing on us, so maybe I'll send you to go sort him out. Maybe that might just piss them off enough. Because, yeah, him being a single entity, I should be able to get in and out pretty quick. Also, yeah, I can still see the odd frame rate drop. This is usually a pathfinding issue, pretty much in any Total War game, where basically the AI has is giving move orders constantly because it can't figure out what to do. It does this in Empire Total War in Siege Battles, like in Fort Siege Battles, for example. It, it does it in pretty much every Total War game, if a situation like this can actually occur. In Total War Warhammer, it doesn't happen that often, but for example, in Empire, it can happen fairly regularly. Uh, and in Total War Attila, it happens all the bloody time, and that's where a lot of the um, optimization problems come in. It's just AI pathfinding, really. Yeah. Um, but usually, if the problem... It's usually like a couple of units that are stuck on like way too many like uh, movement loops. If the unit that's causing this problem is killed, it'll fix the problem straight away. Okay, this seems to have worked. Just bringing them in this way. Okay, these guys go back into fire at will, guard mode, yep. Alright, come on. 53 minutes of sitting around waiting for them to do anything. Can't really use him to waste any more ammunition. Even though he only got 9,000 damage, it's actually way more than that because of how much ammo he soaked up. That's it, get their attention. No, come on, come on guys, you were so close. You were so close! Hmm. Okay, no, we got their attention again. Nice big blob, that's it, that's it, that's it. Quit your reforming, get over here. I'm not giving up this position. Here we go. Make sure you're not in the way to get shot. Still got plenty of ammo on these guys, so I don't think we're going to run into problems with that. The more concentrated they are, the better. Not too worried about their ammunition. And here's another thing as well. The less damage we take on our other units, the more... The, the easier it's going to be to inflict the army losses because the army losses isn't just automatically inflicted as soon as you do like 78% damage to the enemy force. That's just the minimum requirements. You also need to make sure that your forces remain in decent shape. So if you get them to 78% and your forces are 77% destroyed, well then you're not going to inflict the army losses. Okay, really want you to focus in on the Arachnorok spider, but... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't like giving attack... Oh, that was amazing. Alright, we're going to need to hold them back there now. Start sending these guys in soon. You need to stay back. 
Okay, might be a good idea to use this. All right, get them in over there. Just make sure that we're clear here. Oh god, they killed that so quick. Good, shoot into this. Is this guy providing any... Yeah, that guy's providing a leadership circle, so try to shoot him. This one here might struggle a little bit just because there's terrain in the way. Oh, we're good. Because, yeah, if we get rid of him, this, this guy here is providing a... Uh, eight leadership bonus in just the, the area. So killing him would be good. That's a nice route, and this is all on max battle difficulty. Okay, move them back again. Oh, you get, get in over here. Good, good, good. The fact that they keep falling back is really handy for us. Because, like, if they want to beat us, they need to pin these guys here into melee before we've used up all of our ammo. Okay, keeping the bounce of power relatively even when their reinforcements are coming in is definitely a good sign. We actually don't need the bounce of power to be in our favor to win. Uh, I mean, obviously, that would help. Just because we're so badly outpowered in the world. Okay, just stop that. Don't care about that. there. Actually, no, you stop that now as well. Same thing with you. What were you doing? Okay. All right, all right, all right. So now they're going back again, but I didn't want them to do that. Come on. Nothing wrong with running some of these guys down first as well. Maybe it's because as their reinforcements come in, they feel the need to reform. Yeah, that's the guy there that we need to... Actually, that's a that's a unit. That's a unit of bloody spears. A couple of spears. It's got a leadership effect. It must be part of the war. Alright, they're coming back in. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, get ready to fight. Uh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Because, yeah, ammunition's precious, and we're, if we're shooting into goblins, or orc boys, it may, oh shit, may not be worth shooting at them. Seems like I need to charge in at them in order to get them to come at us a little bit. The fact they're spread out is definitely good for us. So, that's it, that's it. I don't need all of them to come at us, just a bit. Just a, bit, a little bit of time. Come on. Come on over. Once we've used up all of our ammo, then I'll just rush in and charge at them. But we want to use up our ammo first. Okay, the music has shifted to... Chaos Dwarf music, but, the, you know, the balance of power is still... It's still not quite in our favor because the reinforcements haven't all arrived yet. And just nipping them in the ass when they don't want to fight. It's good, but every time we take a bit of damage, it's not ideal because it's a high-value unit. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, orcs. <laughs> all right, how, how are we going to do this? Because the thing is, if we march out this way... They've got so many units that they can just wrap around us. Hmm. Could be a really big problem. We've got such a good defensive position. Especially when they're blobbed up in that spot. And we don't want to give it up. Charge them in there. I didn't actually attack. Trying to do any kind of cycle charge I possibly can. Every kill counts. They're getting hits on us, and we're not getting any kills on them. I've only killed one when I charged in. Um, yeah, they, they want to go to the opposite corner. Okay. All right, we're going to have to move over to here. I can't see any other way of dealing with this, because they just refuse to attack. This is not going to work if we want to finish things off. We, we had a good run of it, but we're going to have to come over to here. All right, that protects us on this flank, so we're going to have to switch things around a little bit and move them over this way. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to slowly advance on them. Make sure we really protect our flanks. Got to protect the blunderbusses. If they get caught in melee, we're, we're in big trouble. Not trying to hide in here, it's just that. It's protecting the flank. Okay, that's it. Just move up bit by bit. Alright, let's see if we can lure some guys over here.
even if it's just a couple of them, because they're just not taking the bait anymore. Maybe it's because this guy's balance of power isn't worth as much. I may need to use a mammoth. Yeah, keep him back. Yeah, they are not interested in coming here. Oh, Legend, you should have put it on 20 minute timer. That way you couldn't cheese the battle. You gotta keep in mind we're defending here. If we put it on a 20 minute timer and the timer ran out, we would actually win. So, not putting a timer means I have to actually outright win. Alright, so. I could charge in there, but then I could get stuck and it just wouldn't be worth it to deal with a couple of Orc Arrow Boys. But that being said, Mammoths are not great at doing this. Just want to get their attention. That's all I'm trying to do. They just. <laughs> they're on the attack, but they're not attacking. Also, Orc Arab Boys, I believe their range. Yeah, it is better than Blunderbusses. But they're focused in on the Mammoth. Because if they showed the Blunderbusses, there's a lot of shields protecting them. Yeah, I'm going to have to advance forward a little bit to close the gap of, of the range. Okay, you need to get over here. This is not as good of a defensive position as the previous location was, but they weren't attacking from there, so I couldn't do anything about it. Once again, with this, don't charge in there. We want to be charging through them to try to get them to turn around. Get them to show them our back. Sorry, get them to show their back to us. That's what I meant. I'm going to show them our back. That's it. Just go around them. Yeah, charge in through that, get them to turn around by doing that. Get them in the flank a bit, shoot them over here. Good stuff. Yeah, that's it. Confuse them. They should be thinking, what the hell's going on here? Okay, that's good. Bounce of power's looking good. Enemy units running off the battlefield, that's great. You just don't want these guys having to deal with too much all at once. And that's it. This is looking real good. Oh, watch out for those over here, because we're quite blobbed up and do a lot of damage. Okay, this is a problem. We're handling it. Ooh, this guy can't handle that much more. Okay, these two are out of ammo, but I'm not sending them into melee. Okay, pop this down over here. Now would be a good time for that. So try to get this guy here. Just escort them off the battlefield. Annoy them as much as possible. Just be careful of friendly fire. Obviously, we're going to take some. There's no avoiding that, I think. Okay, now that there's really not that much here to shoot, we've got to move up again. Because there's other archers and stuff over here to deal with. Bounce of power's looking good. All of their reinforcements have come in. So we're definitely going to win the battle. It's just a matter of how much damage are we going to take in total. What the... Oh, okay, okay. Um, I need to deal with these spiky rollers. Get back over here. Oh god, you're really close to death. That's not good. Alright, yeah, shoot these spiky walls. This is no flag that this could be a unit that's actually already left the battlefield. Or no, it isn't. It's just one of the units. The flag bearer is actually coming back. I'm not gonna be able to shoot it properly. Oh, that one's taking too much damage. Let's pull it out. We don't want any units getting wiped out. Try to save the integrity of his army as much as possible. But there's, a, there's the army losses. Good. That's a nice early army losses at 78 minutes. <laughs> but it saves the integrity of his army. And we should be able to take on captives and maybe recover quite a few of them. Because we haven't actually taken that many casualties. Alright, I'll pause the recording as we run these guys down as much as possible. Because you don't want to have to deal with more of this shit. Okay, run down as much of them as I could. Yeah, cool. I feel like we deserve a heroic victory for that. Because not that many casualties. Bit of damage on the single entities though. But yeah, th nearly three full stacks coming against us. If this was a field battle, I don't think we could have won because, you know, let's be real here. What won us this battle was incredibly bad AI. Because all they had to do was just get their forces over to the other side, 
and then just charge at me. That's all they had to do, but they kept going back and forth because their pathfinding so bad in that situation, and that's what I was counting on. You know, I was, I was counting on them to actually attack a little bit more, but I was counting on... And that 3% replenishment is rubbish. Might as well just take the labor. Okay, and then just hope he gets through the rest of this turn. But yeah, you should really consider actually getting rid of... Um, ooh, getting rid of Grim, uh, Grimgor, yeah. Uh, spending cargo and grabbing an additional unit for your convoy seems like a good trade, especially considering it's only 100. Yeah, I'd go for that. Alright, so that would have happened... Oh... Yeah, you should really consider getting rid of Grimgor. Holy shit! You know, every single time you set up a convoy, it's going to start from over here. Doesn't matter that zardagran has been taken. Astrogoth is still in play. Did you manage to confederate... What's his name? Wrong button. Uh... Yeah, you got the Legion of Asgore, so that's good. Drows of Athiashen. But now... What's it called? Uh, it's totally useless to get this one here, because... Cannot Confederate, this faction has already been destroyed. Yeah. That's a big shame. But, your campaign is fine. I mean, you did conquer Cathay. For the most part. But yeah, holy crap, you gotta get rid of Grimgor. That should have been one of your first priorities, I think. Oh my god. Gee, 30 settlements. You're just not going to be able to get convoys out if you don't deal with this. Holy shit. Yeah, get these ar I, I think oh, that's what they're doing. You need to get these armies over here to deal with Grimgor, like, immediately. That was the convoy that we just... How did he get all of his health back? I mean, I'm not complaining, but how do you do that? Also, another thing is that you may want to get... Oh, you've only got two points. Uh, get three points put into this. That way you can replenish in foreign territory. Very useful. Also helps you not to um, take attrition. Yeah, very, very useful. Anyway, guys, I think I've done everything that I can here. The campaign's not a disaster. It's just unusual to see this, that's all. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.